A little while ago, I went searching for the most viewed 3D printing videos of 2018. I was interested to see what I could learn from them. I immediately turned to YouTube and Google search to try to find these videos. I was really shocked at what I saw. So this video is a look at what I found, why I think it's important, and my attempt to make it right. If you go to YouTube and search for 3D printing, you can also use filters to see what the most viewed videos from the past year are. I was expecting to see the biggest 3D printing channels dominating the list, but I ended up only recognizing two of the videos or channels in the top 10. Sweet, maybe it's amazing content that I haven't seen yet. 6.5 million views can't be wrong, right? Oh, wait. Objects is spelled wrong in the title? And that title is pretty clickbaity. Uh-oh. So I went and watched this video. Now, I'm not here to dump all over it and pick it apart, but it does do a couple of things that are big no-nos in my opinion. First, after watching the video, it is clickbait. Nothing mind-blowing is shown. In fact, they show a 3D printed nut and bolt as one of the objects. While that is cool, it's very, very far from being mind-blowing. The video comments are littered with people complaining about this. Second, they give essentially no designer credit or attribution. No designer names, links to Thingiverse, or designers' websites. Nothing at all like that. Wow. What a disappointment, and what a shock. How could this be the most watched video about 3D printing in 2018? The other videos in the YouTube Top 10 must be better, right? Here's a summary of those videos. Yes, I watched them all, so you don't have to. You're welcome. And here's my analysis of these videos. Three of the top five are clickbait. The fourth one is done by a massive channel that hopped on the bandwagon and did only one or two 3D printing videos that's very different from their normal content. Not to mention that their thumbnail is clickbait. Another two in the top ten are news stories. I honestly only recognize two of the channels that came up, RC Life On and Make Anything. So out of these top ten videos, only four are decent at communicating how wonderful and powerful 3D printing can be. Why is this a problem, you might ask? Well, it's not just YouTube and Google that are pushing these videos. As I was searching, I came across a number of lists for the most popular 3D printing videos from 2018 that have been made by 3D printing websites. And what do you know, they had copy and pasted exactly what YouTube was spitting out. Again, I was surprised. This is a website specializing in 3D printing that's showing up near the top of a Google search. They did no additional research and didn't add anything with their special 3D printing insight. What? How can they do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. Wait, I'm going full on Anakin over this. <clears throat> okay. So the reason I think this is a big deal is that put yourself in the shoes of someone new just looking into 3D printing. They know nothing about it and are looking for the most viewed videos to see if they should get into it. And these are the videos they can be presented with. What a shame with all the incredible 3D printing content that's out there. This is why I think this is important. Okay, well if YouTube or Google or some of these 3D printing websites won't make a decent list, I'll take a crack at it. Now making a good, unbiased list is not as easy as you would think. In a way, I'm making my own filtering system for selecting the videos that go into this list. And all systems have rules. So the rules I'm going to use for filtering are no news or documentary videos. The presenting channel must have made at least three videos featuring 3D printing. The video cannot be clickbait. In other words, it must deliver on its title. And the video must give appropriate designer attribution. When I use that filtering, this is what happens. Five out of the top six from the raw YouTube list drop off. The Infinity Gauntlet video moves into the top spot, and these other three videos slide up as well. I also started including, including a lot of other videos and channels that YouTube apparently didn't associate with 3D printing in this case. So let's now take a look at my filtered list. One really interesting and important thing jumps out at me. Many of the videos that are being added to my list do not have the word 3D printing or any variation in their title. Look at the Maker's Muse videos. Angus's Spherecon video would have been number three on the raw list if YouTube was better at getting channel and video associations correct. I even checked the Spherecon video description and it did have 3D printing in it, but that didn't appear to help in this case. You can also see that Naomi Wu moves into the top 10 as well as Ross from the channel Gear Down For What. 
In my opinion, this is the list that we want newcomers to see and get excited about. I've put links to all these videos in my description so you can check them out if you haven't already. I also put a link to a Google Doc which has all the lists I have shown here so you can see my research. The filtered list there also includes the top 15 or so videos and more familiar names start appearing like Uncle Jesse, Punish Props, and Joel Telling the 3D Printing Nerd. That's it for this video. I hope I showed you why this is a concerning trend. I also hope that my attempt at making a better list was helpful. So can we do anything about this? I believe we can, but that's a whole separate topic. One quick thing I do wonder about is if 3D printing was in all these video titles, would the raw YouTube list look different? So I do also have design and 3D printing content on my channel when I'm not ranting about YouTube. These are examples of a couple of things I've designed, so if you're interested, check out their videos. If you found this video useful, please be sure to subscribe. Finally, if you want to get an inside look at my upcoming projects, please take a look at my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.